Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. This video shows you what settings I would recommend you change on your Fire TV stick to protect your privacy. Now, when you get the Fire TV stick, it comes obviously set up really to send details of most things that you do to Amazon. Now, most of these details are used lawfully by Amazon to uh, give you a better experience to customize the, uh, the, the the adverts that you see on there. It also passes back information to Amazon so that they know um, what you're using and what you're not using so that they know what to carry on development with and, and what not to. It also sends them back details about problems that you might be um, experiencing in the form of error reporting, which helps them identify and solve errors for the Fire TV Stick and other Amazon products. But if, like me, you prefer not to have Amazon have any details about what you're doing on your Fire TV Stick, then this is a guide that you should really follow. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to go into our settings. That's the settings cog just over there on the right. So grab your remote control. And if you're not there already, back at the home screen, just press the home button on the remote control once to get you back to the home screen and then press the right hand side of the ring and keep tapping it until you get over to the cog just over there. OK, let's go down. OK, and first of all, we want to go into applications just there. So once applications is highlighted, middle button, and then we want to go into Amazon Photos just here. So middle button again. A couple of things uh, I like to change here. But I would say the only one that really is necessary is to turn off allow guest connections into Amazon Photos. So with it switched on, it basically means that guests may request to connect to your TV using a supported device to cast photos and videos to your screen. So not anyone can do this. Only people that have got access to your Wi-Fi can do this. So if you've got a friend coming round, OK, and he wants to show you his holiday photos or her holiday photos, then with this on, it means that if they've got a compatible program, they can cast photos, say, from their phone or their tablet on to your screen. So with this off, that stops them from doing that. Now, I turn it off because some of my friends would do it just to annoy me. I'm going to turn that off. So all you do is make sure that allow guest connections is highlighted and then press the middle button on the remote control to turn off. And then we press the back button once. That takes us back to this menu here. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go down to Silk Browser. So with Silk Browser highlighted, middle button, and this is if you use the Silk Browser. I know not many people do, but from time to time you might want to use it. So go down to Privacy and Security just there. Highlight that, middle button, and here we want to make sure that Safe Browsing is turned on so that protects you and your device from dangerous sites. Now, if you don't like sites tracking you, then go down to do not track. That's currently off and turn that on. Okay, so it says enabling do not track means that a request will be included with your browsing traffic. Any effect depends on whether a website responds to the request and how the request is interpreted. So it says, for example, some websites may respond to this request by showing you ads that aren't based on other websites that you visited. Many websites will still collect and use your browsing data, for example, to improve security, to provide content, ads and recommendations, and to generate reporting statistics. I would recommend turning this on if you don't want to like I say, websites tracking you. So again, just press the down button to highlight that row there, middle button, and that turns that on. And let's press the back button once, and then we can go down to this always use secure connections. Now this means it will only allow us to use websites that start with HTTPS. Now, not all websites do start with HTTPS, but if you wanted to lock down the security of your Fire Stick and when you're browsing the internet, only go to secure websites, websites that start HTTPS, 
you can turn this on and if you try and go to a website that isn't secure then it will warn you before loading that website like i say this isn't strictly necessary some websites are legitimately not secure because they don't take any details from you so again that is really up to you whether you want to turn that on or off i leave it off uh, because I don't really think it's necessary. The other one is use secure DNS. Again, at the moment, I don't really think using a secure DNS is really necessary at the moment. I think that's overkill, so we can leave that off. So I'm just going to press the back button a couple of times to come out of the Silk Browser settings. The next thing we want to do is want to go down to App Store, so down button, middle button, and we want to go down to external market links just there middle button and what I would say is I'm going to say either ask before opening or don't open in actual fact I mean I'm going to say don't open but basically with this switched on it means that when you go into an app store like the Amazon app store and uh, you you can open external links from app which which are not actually part of the Amazon app store I'm going to say ask before opening on that one to give us the choice in-app purchases if we go down to that okay so it says within some apps you can purchase in-app items some examples of in-app items include newspaper sub subscriptions additional game levels premium content or extra functionality so if say for instance you've put a game on here or something and uh, your children want to buy extra parts for that game with this switched on it basically means that they can make in-app purchases so really ideally if you're not planning to make any extra purchases from within apps then you can turn that off so highlight that middle button on the remote and manage my subscriptions there's not a lot in there simple signing we can leave that for the moment notifications so it says display notifications related to app store so i'm going to turn that off so i'm going to highlight notifications and turn it off because we don't want notifications related to the app store coming up going to press the back button again twice now the next thing we need to do is we need to go down to preferences just down there middle button and here, if we go down to privacy settings, and again, middle button. Okay, now all of these, we can turn all of these off. Device usage data, turn that off, because that is going to use personal data collected by the operating system of the device for marketing and product improvement purposes. That's say it could help if you're having loads of problems with your Fire Stick, you want to send like a... Uh, it, it details to Amazon or you want it to send details of problems to Amazon then leave this on but I prefer to turn this off so I'm going to say no turn that off so with that highlighted middle button so it just tells us here gives us a warning it says we use data about your use of this device to provide customized marketing offers you might enjoy and to prove improve our products and services for all users you can opt out of us allowing to use personal data collected by the operating system of this device for these purposes by turning off this setting so it says turning this setting off will not affect your ability to use the features of the device as we will continue to collect and process your data to deliver those features to you whether you receive marketing offers though those offers may be less relevant to you or the processing of data related to your use of Amazon services such as Prime Video on this device so I'm going to turn this off just just go to turn off middle button so going to go down to collect app usage data so this basically sends data about the apps that you're using we don't want to allow this to collect information on the frequency and duration of use of downloading apps so this tells us like I say how frequently we use a certain app and how long we use the app for this could be handy for app developers it could be handy for Amazon to monitor this so that I know which apps we're using how much time we're spending on and which apps we're not but no I'm going to turn this off so highlight collect app usage data turn it off 
Okay, and again, so it gives us this statement here. It says, App Store collects information on the frequency and duration of use of downloaded apps in order to improve the App Store experience and the quality of apps we make available. We may also share aggregated or other non-personally identifiable app usage information with developers to help them improve their apps. Note, turning this off will not turn off cloud storage of your game related data in game circle so that's good to know let's turn it off and we've got interest based ads as well there so again we we want to turn this off so it says allow apps on this device to show your advertising id to show interest based adverts that display products and services that might be of interest to you well i don't want like i say my advertising ID shared with anybody. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to turn that off. So highlight that middle button on the remote. And again, it comes up here saying when turned off, you will still see adverts, but apps will be instructed not to use your advertising ID to build profiles for advertising purposes or to show you interest-based ads on this device. Again, turn this off. Make sure that turn off's highlighted, middle button. There we go. That is basically what we need to turn off. Some people have said that data monitoring there, we should go into data monitoring, but no, no, we shouldn't. Data monitoring is actually for your own personal use. This will monitor how much data apps are using on your Fire Stick. It doesn't send it off to Amazon or anybody. It's just for your own personal use. So you can see what apps are using what data so that if you're on a limited internet say for instance you've got uh, a certain amount of usage on your internet bandwidth or gigabytes wise then uh, here you can see what apps are using the most data you can do that by going down to the monthly top usage data going into it and there you go this will tell you all of the apps and what they've used and they're sorting them by obviously the most data hungry app at the top it does give you the option as well to set a data alert so that if you've used over a certain amount of gigabytes or megabytes in a month it will warn you that you're coming close or you've gone over that limit like i say that's handy if you're not on an unlimited internet connection it also gives you the option to set the video quality for amazon prime video as well so but like I say, this is best, good and better. But like I say, data monitoring, as I say, does not send any information outside of your Fire Stick. That is literally for your own personal use so that you can see that. It's up to you whether you leave it on or not. I'll leave it on because I want to monitor what's been used on my connection. So there you go. That is my guide to what privacy settings you should set on your Fire TV stick. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did or you didn't, have a look around my channel. I've got thousands of other videos for you to have a look through. Hopefully, you'll find something else of interest to you. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released, hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.